as the Michigan Wolverines get ready to battle with the Washington Huskies in the college football national championship game. And joining us now from Houston is ESPN football analyst Booger McFarlane, also just happens to be a two-time Super Bowl champion. Booger, good morning to you. It's great to have you. Good morning. Glad to be here. So, so let's let's start with I love this story of Michael Penix Jr. The, the quarterback for the Huskies was a Heisman finalist. All the injuries that he had the road to get here led Washington to an unbeaten season so far. What are his biggest strengths? Well, I think he's got two, and, and number one has really nothing to do with his field uh, on the field play as far as football. It's his mental toughness. You talk about a kid that's from Tampa that went to Indiana. He's gone through two ACL injuries, a shoulder injury. He has to transfer from Indiana to Washington uh, to fulfill his potential. And to me, the mental toughness that he displays shows up each and every game. And the second one, as a quarterback, I'm not enamored about all the, you know, the, the height, the weight, the size, the speed. The number one attribute that a quarterback has to have is accuracy. He may be, be the most accurate quarterback that I've ever seen. He literally can throw the football through a keyhole, and it shows up each and every week. He's got a trio of receivers, so his mental toughness, his accuracy, how he leads his football team has been outstanding, and he's going to put it on display tomorrow night in Houston. And he's going to need all of that, right, facing Michigan, one of the best defenses yeah. in the country. What kind of challenge will they bring to Washington's offense? Well, it's going to be an NFL-style challenge. You know, Michigan defensive coordinator Jesse Mentor, he doesn't just come out and call vanilla defenses. He's going to try to confuse Michael Penix. They're not going to give up the big play. Think about what they did to Alabama. Jalen Miro had been playing at a Heisman Trophy level. They sacked him five times in the first half, six times overall, with a lot of confusion, uh, making the offensive line try to figure out where they're coming from. It is a very complex defense. It's a very deep defense. It is a veteran defense, and there's no doubt in my mind, it'll be the biggest challenge that Washington and Michael Penix has faced all year long. If they're able to win this game, they're going to have to go through this defense, which is no small task. All right, all right, we can't talk about Michigan without talking about Coach Jim Harbaugh and, and the suspensions here that impacted them this season. What sort of impact has that right. had on Michigan? Does any of that linger into this championship game? You know, that's a good question. I don't think it lingers. I think what it's done is brought this team together because it's been Michigan against everybody for a long time. First to three-game suspension at the beginning of the season. Then there's a three-game suspension at the end of the season. So they've played eight games with him and six games without him. And I think it's just brought that team together because they feel like they've been done wrong. Regardless of how you feel about the sign stealing and some of the recruiting violations or whatever, they feel like that everybody, the NCAA included, has been out to get Michigan. But they win in spite of all that. And so, uh, you know, sometimes those things, as you say, can be a hindrance. But sometimes they can bring teams together. And I think it's galvanized this football team. It's a veteran team. They got a lot of leadership. And I think that closeness is one of the big reasons why they're in the championship game. All right, Booger McFarland for us. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Going to be a great game. You can catch all the college football action, the championship game, Monday at 730 on ESPN.